In Metro Detroit, we know the sprawling auto plants are like cities under themselves, really. Thousands of workers, and there's the need to have emergency medical staff, considering it's a long haul uh, for workers that might need a paramedic. Indeed. Local 4 Business Senator Rod Maloney tonight has a story of how a team of helpers saved a man's life who needed help right away, no later. It was a sleepy Tuesday morning back in November when that call came in and a team of volunteers, professionals, and security banded together. Their training kicked in and they saved a life. They called the Widowmaker. Parts quality examiner John Burchard never saw his heart attack coming. Uh, one minute I was, you know, sitting at my desk, the next minute I was on the floor. While they assembled transmissions, the call went out to security and Jason Mosley ran to the parts lab. And it was a very scary situation. Um, I just tried to remember my training and uh, put the AD on them and began uh, compression strokes. Despite that effort, it wasn't working. Now Ford trained security and volunteer teams for just such an instance, and everyone joined in the pitched battle to save John. Screaming to the scene in the Ford ambulance cart was trauma nurse Carmen Johnson. He was unresponsive and he was pulseless. He had no vital signs and he was blue. For 27 furious minutes, the group worked on John, refusing to let him die. And by the time the paramedics made it to the scene... And I participated in many resuscitations in my career, and this was one of the most outstanding that I've ever uh, witnessed or participated in. How can I ever tell them thank you? You know, I could take the rest of my life telling them thank you. And um, <laughs> get emotional. My family could. You know, I mean, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. To, to know that you was part of uh, saving someone's life is, is, is a huge deal. In the end, John admits he didn't go to the doctor regularly, as he should have. And he says the one message he has for anybody watching is that if you haven't been to the doctors lately, please go. In Livonia, Rod Maloney, Local 4. John found out about the team's heroics three days after his heart attack when he woke up in the hospital. I love that. And today he's back at work. And as you can see, the group there, they share a very special bond because of all of this. No doubt about <laughs> cool. it.